And what does homecoming mean to you guys? What does homecoming mean to you guys? Anyone else? Well, it's getting it, together. It's getting Madison. together. We don't live here. It's seeing how it's changed, but it really has. Yeah, Madison's one of them. It's time to catch up with family and friends. Beers? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, they were very nice. It, it, was fun. Yes. Yeah. it is a good time to see family and friends, too. Well, and drinking beers. Yes. And oh, I need to remember the time gone by. And I remember I needed to have my boyfriend at the time. A five year person. Very important. Well, can we give us a chance to think back on all the fun we had here? Way too fast, it allows us to relive it in a better space of time. And there's an opportunity to see all your friends and your kids throughout the year. In the late 60s, when we, Wisconsin had not won a game until I was a senior in college. And they won one game my senior year. So to, to see Wisconsin win is a wonderful experience compared to college days. It's a special time of the year when you remember the good times I had at the university. It's a different place today, but it still means a great deal to me. It means reminiscing about good memories and Trying to remember the memories of the Badger games when they're a little hazy at times, but uh, it brings it all back when you're actually in the in the trenches here. And what is your craziest college memory? A sorority bird caught on fire, and we all had to run outside, and the fire department came. What happened? Um, nobody ever admitted it, but we think somebody put a cigarette in um, some styrofoam chips that were in a planter. <laughs> No, uh, it was not good. Uh, probably uh, the Kennedy parties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the bonfire at homecoming, which they don't have anymore. Where where was the bonfire? Where they have it? The bonfire was where the mall, where the mall used to be, between what is now the library and the State Historical Society. Oh. So did they just invite all the students, and you'd all just have a bonfire? Or? The students just erected a bonfire whether they were invited or not. <laughs> Drinking Annie Green Springs in the upper deck at the football games. <laughs> It would probably be walking barefoot on the ice on Lake Mendota one night on a dare for my friend and doing naked snow angels on the Mendota ice. <laughs> I can't tell you that.